Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on what you don't see coming. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you'd like to learn how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. So just an update, what you don't see coming and messages you need right now are a part of the regular schedule. So if you're interested in them, they are still going to be available on this channel. The bonus readings are now going to be messages from your person. So if you want that, you're going to have to vote for your zodiac sign. And if you win, you're going to have to check it out on this channel, right? So let's see. I'm going to be using tarot card decks and oracle card decks that are exclusive to the Tarot Empress channel. If you're interested in them, they will be on the website very soon. So you can check it out if you'd like. For those of you that are curious about where these beautiful cards are from. Please note that most of the personal tarot card readings are sold out. just a small handful that is left right now so if you're interested there might be one or two spots left before the others sell out and I'm not sure when they're going to be available again but when they do come available they generally do sell out very fast so let's see Very interesting. I'm picking up some very positive energies from these three cards. I'm picking up an energy of a lot of prosperity and abundance heading in your direction. I'm picking up an energy which is indicating that you've worked very hard for all that you have. And I also pick up this energy of you being able to relax and enjoy all that you have. So this is a very positive indication of someone that is a hardworking person that doesn't mess around, that doesn't play games, that goes after what they want and achieve it. So a lot of you are coming from a place of having achieved success already. This tarot card reading applies from October 13th, 2021 until November 13th, 2021. I feel like there's an energy here which is indicating some sort of conflict that you've been having in the past and I feel like you've had a lot of hope and the situation has uh, been really dragging itself out. Some of you might have been going through a divorce, you might have been going through some sort of situation that just wasn't getting finalized, that just wasn't getting resolved, whatever it could be. It feels as if you have been having disagreements. Maybe you keep going to the table and you're trying to have a conversation about something. You want a project to be different. You want things to go in a different direction or you're trying to negotiate. But it just feels like it's long drawn out type of energies where it's just going on and on and you can't quite figure out why. there's something that you really have been wanting to make a sacrifice for there's something that you really care about a lot this could be a person this could be a situation this could be something that you want to heavily invest in and I feel like you're wanting to explore the potential of a connection the potential of a situation I feel like you want to make a move I feel like there's an energy of you wanting to get close to someone or some situation and there's a deep desire to do so you're either feeling attracted to this person you see growth you see fertility you see the possibilities and I feel like you, you've been thinking about this person in a rather unusual way so I do get that sort of indication, yeah. But this could be a crush. This could be somebody new. This could be somebody that you have been trying to figure out. 
and uh, I feel like there's an energy here which is indicating a longing, a desire that might have come out of nowhere and you never really anticipated ever. So this could be someone you work with or somebody that you're dealing with in your world. So, you know, it could be anybody. But very interesting. There's a romance here potentially going to happen for some of you. Could be new. I don't pick up a heaviness or an energy that is complex. Wow, very interesting. I'm picking up an energy of emotions that flood out, right? It feels kind of like um, uncontrollable emotions, uncontrollable feelings. Something that sort of shifts your world, something that is massive. There's a freedom, there's a release, there's a surrender, there's also a replacement of emotions on a grand scale. So something big could be happening for you. It feels like the energy of an emotional explosion. It feels like you release something, but it's replaced by something else. It feels like that. So maybe you had a crush or you were dealing with a certain situation, but then it's replaced by someone else and it comes out of nowhere. And you don't really anticipate it, you don't really expect it, and it really changes your world in a big sort of way where you never thought that this would ever happen. You never thought this would ever happen. You never thought you would develop feelings for a certain person or you would have a certain amount of emotions and joy and things of that sort. It just feels like it's so incredible, right? You know, there's this energy of which you're filled with joy, you're filled with uh, happiness in a way you never really thought you would, you know, would have. It's like, Someone is searching for love, they're searching for happiness, and they're looking for it in the wrong places, and then they discover it's actually somewhere else. That's what I get from these energies. It's kind of crazy, though. So, quite interesting in terms of how these cards have come out. I feel like some of you are going to be very surprised, and the emotions you're going to experience are going to be like nothing you've experienced before. Maybe you are at a certain age, you've experienced this before. For some of you, this might be a first time experience. This might be an awakening, you know. Maybe you've been working with someone and they, they were your twin flame, but because the two of you were very busy with your lives and you didn't really have things figured out in each other's world, and then, you know, one day you open your eyes and you've been, you know, around this person for so long and then it just clicks. It all just clicks. It all just falls into place. Could be love at first sight for some of you. You might look at a person in a different manner. You might have a different appreciation for something that you were just drawn to initially. You know, sometimes you see a person's heart. You get close to a person and you see glimpses of who they are and then you fall in love, you know, and it just takes you by surprise. It feels like it will take you by surprise and the emotional release you will experience is kind of... Um, something very unusual to describe but you can use your imagination but it feels like you were drawn to this individual you felt an inclination to get closer to them and the kind of emotions you experience are like nothing you've experienced before this feels like it comes out of nowhere it feels like it takes you by surprise so whoever this individual is you might know you might suspect what might just happen it might just one day happen that you are looking at them and then you realize, wow, you really care about this individual. You really um, have developed something for this person concerned and they can be any zodiac sign. It doesn't really matter. But this is a massive sort of energy shift in your world. This is the old collapsing to make way for the new. This is, you know, the replacement of something that might have been withering with something that is growing, something that is, um, you know flourishing something that is blossoming it feels like that sort of energy so very romantic i'm going to pull one card from the Rumi oracle deck
Okay, so this card came out for Leo. I don't feel like it's your energy though. So I'm going to use another card that was just beneath it. Your heart is the size of an ocean. Go find yourself in its hidden depths. It's a very powerful message from Rumi. It essentially means that your heart is going to open in a way you never anticipated. Your heart is much bigger than you think it is. And I feel like there's depths of your personality that have lied hidden for a very long time and you're going to discover them in the coming days if you're open to receiving the messages that your heart has to reveal. You know, sometimes uh, people come from certain cultures and religions that don't necessarily believe in past lives and reincarnation. And, you know, that's understandable. It just depends on where you grow up and the people you know and things of that sort. Sometimes, you know, your heart has so many different layers that are connected to all these different souls that might have encompassed your body. And your heart is part and parcel to your soul, even though it's, um, you know, it's essentially a muscle at the end of the day, right? So it feels like an energy which is indicating that uh, there's something that you've been experiencing and it's going to come to the forefront. And it's been pulling you in that direction and your heart is leading the way to something that is much bigger than you. So allow yourself to pay attention to these messages because you could be led to the doorstep of the person you love or you could be led to a person that you just feel drawn to and they could be the one that you love and care about and the one that you've been searching for all along. So it's deeply romantic, I feel. You know, it just depends on your perspective of romance. I like romance. So if you do, then you're gonna really, you know, take this reading and, and enjoy it. I hope you guys have enjoyed your reading. I hope you have found the clarity and peace of mind you were looking for. Have a wonderful day and take care.